A lot of people have asked for more information about the data engineering role. I'll give it to you. I just don't think it's a great idea because, uh, like I've said a hundred times before, there are no entry, no entry level roles in data engineering. All right, but I'm going to give you what you want. So let's talk about the four things I found when I looked at, I don't know, 30 jobs. Maybe I looked at more than that. I just went through a whole bunch of jobs and I started picking out things that jumped out. I said, what are companies looking for? And it really is almost four or five things. Um, uh, the first thing here is cloud tech, right? They're looking for the, one of the big three. The, and if you don't know, the big three are AWS. This is Amazon, Azure. This is my favorite, uh, just for many reasons. And GCP. And Google's fine. Uh, it's just the least used. Like the, these two are neck and neck. And this guy is down in the totem pole. So you're going to need some cloud tech. Right? You're going to need the basics of some cloud tech. That is number one. Number two, now I couldn't find a, a cool icon for a data pipeline. So this is, this, this is going to be the pipeline. Pipe line and water pipelines i mean they're they're easy in concept but hard because there are a million things you can do to create them and a million different tools you can use and it seems like everyone in the real world is using a million different tools a pipeline is taking data from here so i've got some data uh it doesn't matter structured unstructured whatever and i got to move it somewhere that's what it is that's a pipeline that's all it is all right so data pipelines, what else? Uh, down here we have uh, DW for data warehouses. And it looks like uh, the most used right now are Snowflake, uh, BigQuery, BQ. And it looks like the two for, uh, the Microsoft has one. I think theirs is, they just call theirs data warehouse. And I forget what Amazon's is. Either way, I, I would say these two are up there. And I, I would learn one of these two. The people that authored Snowflake looked at BigQuery and said, that's a great idea. Let's do that and put it on all three platforms. And that's basically what they did. So it's really basically big tables uh, that no matter how large can be queried at scale. All right. And uh, the last thing is you're going to need, you're going to need a database. And now you're thinking, well, data warehouse is a database. Yeah, this is a relational you're going to need a relational database. Uh, most of you know I'm a SQL Server guy. SQL Server. So you're going to need a SQL Server. You're going to need maybe MySQL. MySQL, something else. You're going to need to know a lot about uh, the SQL language, the SQL language, and a lot about uh, basic database, basic database structures. You know, things like data types, clustered indexes, primary keys, you know, things like that. So those are the four core things. Now, someone is certainly going to ask about Python because it happens every time. So yeah, there are some tools up here, the data pipeline tools that are going to require you to know Python. All right. Uh, again, I really like Fabric because Fabric is more drag and drop and it just works better. Um, and it's uh, it doesn't require Python at all. Uh, but there are, uh, on the AWS side, there are definitely tools uh, and definitely requirements for Python. I mean, it was up there also as uh, something that data engineers need. However, these were the big four. All right, now don't forget about the new course. We've got Fabric, an end-to-end -end look at Fabric for data engineers. And that includes DP600 for the exam, the exam cram. And we can click here to navigate to take a look at the curriculum. See what we've got going on. It's quite involved. All right, come back here. We want to come over. Yep, you're sure you want to buy it. Yeah, you're sure. You got lots of other courses down here too. You come down here and click on the courses and click view more courses. You can see you've got just an insane amount of courses on machine learning and data cleansing and data engineering and lots of stuff going on. All right, back to LogicBot. Back to the bottom. Enroll now. Enroll today. Come back here and have a coupon. YouTube 25, hit apply, and it's $25. Every month after that, it's $20. Time to level up your game, folks. Every day you're not learning, someone else is.